Hello and welcome to Insights from an Autistic. I'm Ramon Kodai. I'm 25 years old and today is about how autism impacts me today. So even though I do a video every single day and even though I write a blog entry every single day and even though I give presentations and even though I've written an entire memoir about my experiences with autism now I don't really try to see myself as having autism. I try to mis see myself as Armand and I try to overlook that. I've really, within the last year and two, I've really spent a lot of time going deep into myself and really seeing what is this autism about uh, on, a, on an inside, spiritual, intellectual level, what have you. And I, I feel like I've really overcome a lot of the aspects, you know, a lot of the anxiety, social anxiety. Um, I haven't overcome all of it you know, um, a lot of social phobias, um, you know, having to have everything perfectly lined up, you know, perfect order. You know, I'm more, I'm more loose now as a person. Um, and so there's a lot of the traits, I, I've really worked on overcoming them. Sometimes I didn't even work on overcoming them, but I overcame them. And so, if someone really spends a lot of time on themselves, you know, if you have autism, you can really, you know, it is possible to to function, to be able to interact with people. You know, I pushed myself, and that took a lot of courage, and uh, it really involved pushing myself out of the comfort zone, and that's what it takes, and it's not easy, especially uh, mentally and everything like that, and sometimes the anxiety is a lot, and it's overwhelming. And you have to keep on putting yourself out there in, in difficult situations. And so I kept on doing that. And it was hard. It was very hard at first. Very, very hard. But now I feel I've reached a level of, of where I'm able to function in society, function, you know, interact with other people. Sometimes I'm held back a little bit, but I am pushing myself out when I notice a weakness or a fear or something of that nature. And so uh, autism does not impact me anywhere near severely really did even two years ago in 2008 when I when I actually I saw I saw myself as autistic, not just with autism, but I saw myself I saw that as me. And then I think in 2009, because you, you even watch my videos, you know there's a progression. If you watch the uh, old, very old videos from 2008, I talk about myself being autistic. I then I talk about having you know being with autism, and now I'm telling you that that. Yeah, I have these traits, but I don't think about them. I don't allow them to impact me. And if I see there's something that's stopping me from doing something, if it's an internal thing, I go out and, I'm, and, I, and I don't let it hold me back. If I want something in my life, I go out and I get it. You know, whether that's a girlfriend or friends or whatever the case may be, even though I don't have a girlfriend right now, but, but I have to work on my financial aspect, which is, to my knowledge, not an autism-related thing. Um, Anyway, so how how do I how do I come in terms of acceptance of say other people and you know I still haven't found a group that I really fit into but like a lot of these places where I'm where I live in he this area it's a lot of older people and stuff and as a result of um, getting to where I'm at I've really destroyed a lot of my older past you know I've purged a lot of my belongings and so I'm kind of redefining myself right now so I don't you know if I if I decide to take a I so I've, I've been very careful to not take a passion or obsession in something because I know it'll overcome me so when I if I decide on something you know to really become passionate about I'll find other people like that and I think I'll fit in and I, and I think I'll be accepting of that degree but I'm content with my life right now I am content. Um, you know, I don't really have any complaints. Just I wish I had more money. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm even happy not even having a girlfriend right now. So, and you know, I'm happy about my book and, and everything like that. So, overall, I, I think I've really, you know, I think making these YouTube videos, um, writing my book, writing in my blog, even though I've only started since October, but since I started writing that blog, I've really gone even deeper and deeper into autism, and I, I feel like within just these last few months that I've really 
uh, taking off and everything like that. And so today, I, I feel like I feel like I'm on. You know, I, I feel good. I feel I feel like whatever I choose in life, that's what I can have, and uh, whatever I want, I can want. You know, and and, and it's, there's still a lot of discoveries to be made, and there's there's still a lot of deciding who I want to be. But uh, when I decide, I decide. And um, so that's how I feel autism impacts me today. So anyway, I thank you for watching this video. I wish everybody an awesome day of awesomeness. Thank you.